Well, if the Cowboys can't play in a conference championship game, they may as well make some news during one. This came out during the action yesterday. Kellen Moore, offensive coordinator, out. The official statement came after the games ended. Mike McCarthy, head coach, says after continuing through our end-of-season review process and having additional discussion, Kellen and the Cowboys reached a mutual decision to part ways. I want to thank Kellen for his deep commitment, hard work, and dedication that were a core part of his time with the Cowboys. Mutual decision, my ass. When are these ever truly mutual, right? Other than we don't want you here anymore, do you want to stay? Well, if you don't want me here, why would I stay? I Come on. Um, he's still under contract for one more year. And at one point, he was the guy who was kind of, you know, Jerry Jones is always looking for his next Tom Landry. The guy he's going to groom, the guy that's going to be there forever. It was going to be Jason Garrett, and that ultimately didn't work out, although he was the head coach for nine years. And then Kellen Moore's the guy that there's this thought they're going to eventually ease him into the job. Well, that didn't work either. And now McCarthy's going to call the plays. You've got seven assistant coaches gone now from a team that was 12-5 and five in consecutive seasons. This is just weird in Dallas right now, Chris, and it just feels like half measure after half measure in an effort to make the team better – they're taking a chance they're going to make the team worse. Yeah, I, I mean, you're right, but but Jerry's going to be aggressive. He wants better results from his football team. And I think, you know, I, 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 and I guess I'm surprised to see this with Kellen Moore, but, uh, like, not surprised in some ways. One, I mean, I think if you look at it, Dak Prescott took a step back this year, didn't play very well. Offensively, I mean, we're two years in a row where – you know, the offense laid an egg in a, in a playoff game against the 49ers. And I think what you start to look at, too, a little bit, and, and something at least that what I talk about on my podcast a decent amount when I break down the Cowboys in that offense, is just when their run game doesn't work, their offense just isn't that special. It's just it's not creative enough in the passing game, as you saw last week. Listen, Dak Prescott didn't play well. There was certain those are bad interceptions, and he certainly had a few plays or throws that he could have capitalized. But I didn't come away nearly as impressed with that game plan as I did other teams that you know attacked the 49ers this year. So uh, I, I think there's more to be had in that department. And I'm with you. Mutual. I mean, nobody nobody leaves the offensive coordinator job of a team. Of the year, the Dallas Cowboys, and you were one of the five best teams in sport. Yeah, I'd mutually like to leave one of the greatest jobs in all of sports. That's right. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, obviously there was something wrong there, and they weren't happy with it. And they're going to go their way, and we'll see how Mike McCarthy can do. You know, call and plays. That'll be interesting too. And that's where I have a hard time separating the two. They performed poorly enough that the guy running the offense under an offensive head coach yeah. should be fired, but the head coach should stay that it it's just, it's just weird to me. And with Sean Payton kind of dangling out there, you want to make this team dramatically better quickly. You just flush everything. Maybe you keep Dan Quinn as defensive coordinator with Sean Payton. I don't know, but it's just odd to me that, that they're doing these mini changes instead of going all in and just pressing the reset button on the coaching staff. Cause they basically are, they basically are resetting the coaching staff. They're making it harder. You can have all this change now and, and sometimes change can be invigorating, but it's, it's complicating too. Yes, it is. And they got a lot of work to do. You got players like Michael Parsons. Wasn't happy that George Edwards, senior defensive assistant was let go last week. I mean, you've got new faces, new personalities, new ideas, new this. It's not all going to be smooth. And it, it makes the offseason program critical for the Cowboys, and they really just need to get things buttoned up and ready to go because they're going to have the target on them next year. Uh, you know, they, they, they have had two consecutive very good years, and they're going to make it harder for themselves to have a third one yeah. with everything they've done, Chris. Yeah. Obviously, someone's not happy, right? Jerry, the message – some of the, you know, play within those certain those, those positions, he feels like there's got to be a shake up there, you know, within the coaching staff and a new look, a new energy, and a new plan of attack. Uh, Dan Quinn's back. That's that's probably the most important thing. We've seen what he's done. They're creative on the defensive side of the ball. McCarthy. Hey, I always found it interesting that yeah, was an offensive play caller took a lot of heat at the end of the Green Bay when he was the head coach there. 
And then he came back to Dallas and was like, whoa, I don't want that heat. Here you go, Kellen Moore. Well, obviously, you know, I, to me, that this, this has the smell of the Jones family as well. Like, hey, we hired you because you were a good offensive mind in Green Bay. So how about you start you know, doing our game plans and all that? Um, it, it, it's interesting. But obviously, the, 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 the Cowboys are not happy with the way things have turned out. And I understand that. You know, they're, they're impatient. And I understand that, too, with Jerry and the AG he's at right now. I wonder if it was as simple as who came up with the idea to put Ezekiel Elliott at center for our Stanford band play. And Kellen Moore said, I did. And you're gone. Uh, <laughs> and that's all. Thank you very much for your candor. Now let's have a mutual decision that you're not going to be the coach here anymore. And at least they waited until after it played out for him in Carolina because he could have been the head coach there. We've seen that before where a team's thinking about moving on from a guy, but they just don't do it because they want to give the guy the opportunity they may have somewhere else. But uh, it's it's just it's going to make things more difficult for the Cowboys. Also, new quarterbacks coach, Doug Neusmeyer, he's out. So they got to find a new guy who's going to be the main person getting Dak Prescott to the best of yeah, his ability. See, I think that's his where this is year, all. Right. Statistically – Statistically, his best year was when Jason Garrett was the coach, when he was a rookie. I mean, yeah. he really hasn't matched those numbers since then. No, I, 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 I feel like that's where a lot of this is coming from. You know, the pressure of Dak, the contract, it feels like the Cowboys were pressured into that to a degree. They want, you know, we, we heard kind of Jerry talk about this a few years ago. They want their quarterback, who they're paying $45 million, to be a star and take over. Remember they lost that game up in Seattle, and they were like, hey, Russell Wilson, he runs around and does all those things and says that. Yeah, they, they want more out of this position, especially with what they're paying. And then, of course, C.D. Lamb and some of those offensive, line, offensive linemen they got, other weapons, Tony Pollard, all of that. You know, I think they looked at it and go, well, we, we kind of underwhelmed in that department. It was a good year offensively, but – I think there's, you know, probably a little more meat on the bone as far as they're concerned and what they are capable of, and that's where they're going to go back to the drawing board. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.